do. They have traveled millions upon millions of miles, trucks with wings, shuttling between Earth and outer space, carrying cargo and people. Symbols of American triumph and tragedy. Now the space shuttle is about to become a museum piece. Houston, you are go and throttle up. NASA will soon announce where the shuttle fleet will come to rest in retirement. Atlantis, Endeavor, Discovery. The orbiters free of charge, except for a transport charge of about $28 million. You can see one of the shuttles up close. This is the Enterprise, on display here at part of the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum outside Washington. This was a prototype shuttle, used for testing, but never going into space. We say farewell, Discovery. The Smithsonian is expected to get the Discovery, headed to the Udvar Hazy Center near Washington's Dulles Airport. The museum had always hoped that eventually the Columbia Space Shuttle would come here as the first of the space shuttles. But after Columbia and Challenger were lost, we began to hope that we could acquire one of the remaining orbiters. The Enterprise will get shuttled somewhere else. Among museums, something of a space race with only a handful of orbiters to go around. In the running, the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, the Johnson Space Center in Houston, and flight museums in New York City, Dayton, Ohio, and Seattle. NASA will make the final call April 12th, 30 years after the shuttle's first launch. The black and white craft has managed to make the idea of space travel common, but still people stare. It was much bigger than I thought it would be. It's, it's an amazing aircraft. I'm not real happy that it's going away because I really like watching them launch. A few more liftoffs are left, then mothballs flying to museums on the back of a Boeing 747. But I detect here just a sense of pride when people come in. They're thrilled to see the space shuttle vehicle. The shuttle coming back down to Earth staying for good as America plots its next course into space. Lee Powell, the Associated Press, Chantilly, Virginia.